and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody that I've been following and connecting with for, for a while now, and I have been so impressed by this young man, this young emerging leader that I had to have him on my show. Guys, y'all give it up for none other than Joseph Knack. <laughs> Joseph, can you hear him clapping for you? It's quite the, quite the crowd. I can pretty loud right now so, loud. thank you well, gary we're gonna let them simmer down but uh until then hey joseph welcome to the show thank you so much for joining us today i want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do thank you gary i appreciate that amazing intro so i am joseph knack i am currently the customer success manager at flamingo where we're a resident engagement platform that helps operators create a modern resident experience in today's day and age of renters where, you know, demands are increasing, expectations are at an all time high. So that's what we do. That's what I, uh, my role now as a, on the vendor side. Before I was an operator for about four to five years where I did nothing but lease ups in California, I started out with Wood Partners and did two really successful lease ups with them. I did Prisma by Alta or Alta Prisma by Alta, yes, and then Alta Waverly up in the Bay Area. After that, I was over at Graystar for a couple of years actually and did the lease up for Carmel Partners flagship building called Atlas Oakland. It was a 41 story tower, 633 units right in downtown Oakland and one thing that I'm most proud of and will like be very thankful that I had the experience was we created such a great resident experience that we achieved the number three spot in Jay Turner's Elite 1% in 2021. Yeah, it was crazy. That's outstanding. Thanks. Joseph, I knew you were amazing, but man, you just leveled up. That's just, that's a whole nother <laughs> level of awesomeness there, sir. You know what I think is really cool is not only do you have you you've got such a, a great kind of uh, level up on 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 us in the multifamily industry because not only have you been on the you know the operations side but you've also been on vendor side so you've got such a unique perspective on both sides which I believe is extremely valuable and as a leader that really will come in handy, those experiences that you've got on all sides. And one of the things I love to do on the show is I love to reach out and connect with leaders that are inspiring. And I like to peek behind the curtains and see what inspires these inspiring leaders. And so Joseph, I reached out to you and I was like, hey, what inspires you? You brought back three incredible points and I wanna to get to those points with you. So the first one, and you alluded to a little bit of this uh, just a moment ago is, your journey in multifamily, that inspires you. So share with us what that means. Why does your journey in multifamily inspire you? So great question. Before I was in the multifamily industry, I was pursuing a career in the legal slash insurance field and realized I didn't connect and create relationships with people enough. So I pivoted into an industry that was recommended by my uncle and he thought I would do great in it. And he was right. So as a leasing agent, it's all about connections, finding that perfect home, creating great experiences. And that's where I really found that I really love to create a great service or an experience for everyone I interact with, whether it's in work or business with that hat on, or even just in person interacting with people day to day, like my neighbors I walk down the hall with. So for me, just creating a great experience for anyone I interact with to where we could think about it years down the line and say, oh, that was a great experience with that person or that was a pleasant person to be around. So that's what really inspires me to just be as authentic and positive as I can to create a great experience for everyone I interact with. That is so cool. And and the great thing is, is I've, I've seen you and I, I've had the opportunities to connect with you one on one. And I've also had the opportunity to see you interact with some other people in different capacities, and most recently at the NAA Apartmental Wise. And you truly do have that, you know, that's part of your journey in the multifamily industry is you are incredible at engagement and, and creating those relationships and understanding how not it's not a transactional thing. You're creating this transformational experience with whomever you meet, whatever that purpose of that connection is, you transform it from what could simply be transactional to something transformational, which awesome. 
Thank you. Thank you. Hearing that makes me know that I'm in the right place in my life where I need to be because I'm <laughs> reaching towards those goals of just being a part of something bigger than myself. Yeah. Oh, man, the, the multifamily industry truly is benefiting from you being a part of it. So we thank you. I'm just saying collectively, we say, we thank you so much. Hey, so Joseph, the, the other point that uh, inspires you, you shared with me, is mentorship and multifamily. So explain a little mm -hmm. bit more by, you know, what you mean by mentorship and, and how is this kind of connection inspiring you? Great question. So as an on-site operator, I always felt frustrated that I wasn't getting the right guidance, the interactions with leaders in the industry that could help me level up to that next promotion or that role. I'd always be put in positions that I would succeed and do well, but didn't have that guidance. So coming over to the mold or the vendor side, I was so overwhelmed because you get to zoom out on the industry and see it from a bird's eye view on like a national level. So going from the operator side to the vendor side, I kind of didn't really know where to start. So was always looking for mentors just to pick their brains and get some insight on how to navigate this new side of the industry for me. So uh, shortly into my my start in the vendor in on the vendor side, mm -hmm. there was a great mentor group that was created by Tara, which we, you and I connected through <laughs> and has been really instrumental in just like the overall perspective of the vendor side, how to approach it, like what way to go about creating experiences, events, approaching potential clients, and just being a name in the industry without being having like a bad, oh, he's just a vendor, you know, being an authentic, <laughs> being an authentic like person in the industry so you have been instrumental in that chris marino another vendor or another mentor of mine joe summers and the list goes on and on after meeting a lot of these leaders that i look up to in in the industry at naa like i look at them as mentors now with just the little feedback that they gave me from that from that little interaction like tony Souza called me out on something and it was like something I needed to hear at the time and now I'm like so fired up but you I'm it's just those little interactions and those those authentic relationships turn into mentorships and like relationships that build into something bigger than we could ever anticipate so that's where I'm very passionate about mentorship because I don't know the whole industry I don't know everything but I'm willing to learn from those who I look up to to get to the get to where they're at yeah and i and i think and i i feel a recurring theme with you and it's it's about the relationships and not only do you engage with people you've never met before and you're creating these transformational you know experiences but you're developing those relationships and you're taking it a step further by just connecting with people that you're like hey You've got, you know, I believe you've got some wisdom that I'd love to learn from and you are reaching out, creating transformational moments and just saying, hey, I'd love to learn from you. And I, I have to agree with you, Tara's group that she has put together is absolutely amazing. And we'll put Tara's link in her mentorship group uh, linked in the show notes uh, from this. But it truly is. And I love that you, you are being active. You're being proactive to get out there and connect with all of these incredible leaders in the multifamily industry, there's so many out there to choose from. And I, and I've seen in the past, a lot of people will hesitate to say, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to bother this person. I don't want to, you know, feel like I'm, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I love that you are engaging. And I, and I promise you nine times out of 10, whomever you engage with, they'll probably respond to you and, and share some insight with you. Yeah, I agree with that. And the way I approach it is like, we're all people. We're all just normal people <laughs> living on this earth together. So uh, Lissy Daniels made a great point in one of her presentations in the mentor group was, we're all connected more than we really even know it. So like, I take that attitude when I like go to the gym or I go to the grocery store, like we're all there for a common reason. Like we're at the gym to, better ourselves we're at the grocery store to nourish our bodies so we're all connected on more degrees than we really see on the surface oh my gosh you're so good man you are you are so like 
when I was your age, I wish I was like half of the level that you are at right now. So amazing. Now, now, Joseph, the third point that you've got going mm -hmm. on that you shared with me, I'm like blown away by. And it is your your inspiration is giving back a philanthropy to fix a known issue in the multifamily industry. So I want you to share what that known issue is. And, and if you want to, if you want to get the scoop, what's your game plan? What's going on and how is this inspiring you? <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So we all know that there's an issue with younger generations entering the multifamily maintenance technician industry or that specific field. So I've had this light bulb lately to connect multifamily maintenance leaders to a, first a nonprofit that's been significant in my life. It's called Orangewood Children's Foundation, and they help transitioning foster youth that are going like moving into society, becoming an adult learn life skills for employment, health and wellness, housing, education. And before I got into the multifamily industry, they helped me get a paralegal certificate and get into the legal field. So for me, I'm passionate about giving back to them. So I have this idea to connect multifamily uh, maintenance leaders with Orangewood Children's Foundation and specifically their program they that they have called the William Lyon Workforce Academy, which is a structured um, structured program for foster youth who need to gain life skills and employment, but also companies that want to give back and help teach these foster youth that, that haven't had those stable foundations in their life to learn the skills just to become independent members of society. So I really am inspired by what Western Wealth is doing with Jennifer and Lindsay over there and then Devin Wirth with Entryway. So connecting with them recently as well as seeing the naa gives wall at naa just really inspired me so i've already talked to a couple maintenance leaders in the industry i talked to the ceo chris simonson at orangewood children's foundation and he's all on board so right now i think i'm right where i need to be inching towards that leader and giving back to be a part of something bigger than myself because my whole goal is just share my story and hopefully impact at least one person positively by sharing my story. Oh my gosh, Joe, so that, that's absolutely incredible. And we'll also put the link to the organization that you, you're partnering with. So if someone is interested in you know connecting with them, we'll, we'll have that link in the show notes as well. But absolutely incredible that you are, you, you've got this light bulb moment and you are beginning to build on it. I mean, you are so inspired by giving back to to an organization that you know helped you along the way that you want to give back at the same time and now you're bringing in other leaders in the maintenance industry to help build you know other individuals young young people to grow and and possibly get into the maintenance or into the multifamily world yeah well thank you thank you multifamily has been great for me i fell into it like a lot of us typically do and I am prospering. Like, I feel so great about where I'm at now, the people I'm surrounding myself with, the people I look up to as leaders that it's almost like I'm unstoppable. It's like just getting started. Yeah. I believe it, man. I wholeheartedly. <laughs> Thank you. And man, you've got a, you got a fan with me. So I'm your, definitely your fan, your cheerleader. And I'm going to cheer you on and help out where I can help out. Um, Joseph, you're just absolutely incredible emerging leader. And I can't wait to see all the things that you do to positively impact not only the industry, but the world at large. So believing in you. Hey, Joseph, we are at the end of our time. It's been great mm -hmm. chatting with you. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. Thank you, Gary. First and foremost, I want to say I appreciate having you in my corner. The time that we've worked together has been really insightful and helped me. But closing thought would be you know, I am here to help push the industry forward. So I hope anyone that sees me on this podcast or sees me in person, they see past the the company I work for and just see me as the person who I'm trying to become and the impact I'm trying to have on the industry in the world. So that's me. I'm very thankful for your time, Gary. Thanks for having me on. And this was awesome. Oh my gosh, Joseph, thank you so much. Guys, make sure you check out Joseph on LinkedIn, uh, follow him, encourage him, send him a message. If you're interested in supporting his his uh, his giving back plan, 
shoot him a message, man. This guy is going to do some incredible things. And if you want to be a part of it, you need to connect with this guy. I promise you, relationship with this guy, it's going to be beneficial. <laughs> Money back guarantee. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary, you're so great. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. We will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice.